Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x to the power 7 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 9 divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 10 is equal to 2 over 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x to the power 7 plus this x to the power 8 can be written as x to the power 7 plus 1 plus this x to the power 9 can be written as x to the power 7 plus 2 divided by this x to the power 6 plus this x to the power 8 can be written as x to the power 6 plus 2 plus this x to the power 10 can be written as x to the power 6 plus 4 is equal to 2 over t. Next, x to the power 7 plus this x to the power 7 plus 1 will become x to the power 7 times x plus this x to the power 7 plus 2 will become x to the power 7 times x square divided by this x to the power 6 plus this x to the power 6 plus 2 will become x to the power 6 times x squared plus this x to the power 6 plus 4 will become x to the power 6 times x to the power 4 is equal to 2 over 3. Now, from the numerator we can factor out x to the power 7. x to the power 7 as common factor in bracket left 1 plus x plus x squared divided by from the denominator we can factor out x to the power 6. x to the power 6 as common in bracket left 1 plus x squared plus x to the power 4 is equal to 2 over 3. Now, this x to the power 7 can be written as x to the power 6 times x times this 1 plus x plus x squared divided by x to the power 6 times 1 plus x squared plus x to the power 4 is equal to 2 over 3. Now, this x to the power 6 will be cancelled out with this x to the power 6 and in the numerator we are left with x times we rearrange these terms, we write this x squared first, x squared plus x plus 1 divided by this, we write x to the power 4 first, then we write x squared and in the last we write plus 1 is equal to 2 over 3. Next, x times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by now we want to write this expression in the denominator of perfect square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. So we write this x to the power 4 as x squared whole squared plus we write this 1 as 1 squared and in the middle we write plus 2 times this x squared times this 1. Now this 2 times x squared times 1 is equal to 2x squared and in the original expression we have only 1x squared. So, to make this uh, x squared equal to this 2x squared, we subtract x squared from this expression. 
So in the last we subtract x squared is equal to 2 over 3. Next x times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by by using this algebraic identity this x squared whole squared plus 2 times x squared times 1 plus 1 squared will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared is equal to 2 over 3 x x times x squared plus uh, x plus 1 divided by by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this uh, x squared plus 1 whole squared minus uh, x squared will become x squared plus uh, 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x is equal to 2 over 3. Now this uh, x squared plus x plus 1 will be cancelled out with this uh, x squared plus x plus uh, 1. So here we are left with uh, x divided by x squared minus x plus uh, 1 is equal to 2 over 3. From here we use cross multiplication. We multiply these two by this expression and we multiply this 3 by this expression. So, this will become 2 times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x. Now, 2 times x squared will become 2x squared and 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times 1 plus 2. We move this 3x to the left hand side, this will become negative 3x is equal to 0. Next, 2x squared. This is negative 2x and negative 3x will become negative 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this 2x squared, 2x squared. We split this in negative 5 times x as a negative 4 times x minus x plus this 2 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out 2 times x. In bracket left, x minus 2. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1. In bracket left, uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression x minus 2 is common. So, we factor out this uh, x minus 2. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this uh, 2 times x and this negative 1. In bracket left, uh, 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here is this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 2. And uh, from this equation, if we add 1 to both sides, this will become 2 times x is equal to 1. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get the value of x is equal to 1 over 2. This is the first value of x and this is the second value of x. So, we have uh, two solutions of uh, this equation.